Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to explore the NARACUM app, which has just been launched by the PHCC or the Primary Healthcare Corporation here in Qatar to enable citizens and residents and even visitors access to select healthcare services through their smartphones. So this app is relatively new and as of now it has only it only has a few basic features one of which is that we're able to easily access our health card information such as our health card number its expiry date our assigned family physician and upcoming appointments including that of our dependents and second we are able to request for some healthcare related services such as applying for or renewing our health card change our health center change our family physician and also request for an appointment and just like i said it's relatively new so it only has a few features as of now but i'm guessing once the covid-19 vaccines start rolling out for um, normal citizens and residents like us then this app will be very efficient and very useful in to facilitate that so yeah so in this video i'm going to show you how i'll register my husband's mobile number or my husband under his account and i'm gonna also add our daughters as his dependents and we're gonna try if i will be able to add me his wife under his account as a dependent or i'm pretty sure that i need to do it on my own uh, under my own account so yeah that's it first as usual please don't forget to like comment subscribe and press that bell button so you get notified whenever i have new videos how to register in the nar akum app so first you have to download it in your app store or your play store Click install and then wait for it and then, and then you have to choose your language it's available in Arabic or English and for first time users we have to create a new Tawthik account. So first you choose an account type so we choose Qatari citizens or residents. And we have to enter our QID number and our mobile number. Next. I was having a difficult time with this because the keyboard kept popping. And click I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. And continue. And they're gonna send you a verification pin to your mobile. To the mobile number that you entered and then you're gonna enter that pin and next you're gonna add some personal details like first your nationality let's click Philippines and then enter your name I made a mistake here I first entered his name under Arabic name but for most of us we're gonna enter our name under the English name and then add our date of birth uh, gender and our complete address complete address meaning building number zone and street number and we're also i also added the po box but it's optional as you can see there's no red asterisk there under po box and then we're gonna add our email address email address and that's it Like I said, I was having a difficult time with this because the keyboard kept popping out and I cannot click continue. So I just re-entered the email address and now we're asked to enter a password and we're done. So we're back to the home page and we now enter our um, what says QID number and the password that we just set and we're in so here you can see my husband's name his health card number and expiry it's gonna expire soon on May 
and this is our family physician, our health center, our assigned health center, that's Rodat al Khail. And below that, we have two tabs, personal information and account information. Under personal information are his birth date, nationality, gender, and I don't know what's that. And under account information are his mobile number, email address, and others. So that's under home. So that's the home page. And under e-services, there are a few services that we can avail there. So I went back to home. And then we're going to go to e-services and I'm going to add dependents. So now I'm trying to add me, his wife. So I'm entering my QID to see if I'm able to add me myself as his dependent. And let's wait. And it says here, you're only allowed to add dependents who are less than 18 years of age. People who are 18 plus years of age can create a separate account. So as expected, I am supposed to do my own, <laughs> register under my own name. So now I just added my daughter's QID to add her as a dependent of my husband. So that's it. And as you can see here, we're supposed to upload, upload documents such as Dependent QID, my daughter, parent QID, and optional is the spouse QID. Only JPEG, PNG, and PDFs less than 5 MB required. So, I decided to upload, to take a photo of my daughter's QID. So, here... I just took a quick photo of my daughter, daughter's QID, I mean. Snap, snap. And then, So now I'm just gonna take a quick photo, photo of my. So now I'm just gonna take a quick photo of my daughter's QID, and I'm gonna upload that under dependent QID. So here's my camera. And then I just upload that from my gallery and crop crop okay to the correct size and that's it and the next one I'm gonna take a photo of is my husband's QID and I'm gonna upload that under parent QID there it is crop again Lastly, although it's optional, I decided to still take a photo of my QID and, and upload that under Spouse QID. And that's it. Submit. Please wait. And that's it. Application reference number. And I'm going to do the same with our other daughter. So I entered her QID, her, my husband's QID, and my QID. And that's it. Submit and that's it. And like I said, for me, the spouse, I have to register under my own account, so I have to create a new account for me using my phone. So your request is successfully submitted. That's it. So as you can see here, we have two requests under my task and under requests in progress. I don't know why. You they're under different tabs and that's it we can apply for a health card and that's it thanks for watching and yeah like i said earlier i'm expecting that this app will be a very useful tool when the covid19 vaccines start rolling out for us normal citizens normal residents in qatar 
So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that bell button so you get notified whenever I have new videos. See you in the next one. Bye!